this morning, I visited sanitation department crews who are on snow removal duty. The winter storm is certainly on everyone's mind. And I can tell you that uh, there were a lot of plows on the front of uh, trucks. There was a big uh, snow melter ready to go if necessary. Uh, they had one plow that if we had 10 feet of snow, it would blast right through it. But I don't think we're going to need that one. Uh, but let me update you on what's being called Winter Storm Nemo and the city's preparations for it. Uh, the current forecast from the National Weather Service. Now, keep in mind, these are forecasts. Uh, this is a reasonably unpredictable storm. It could turn further northeast uh, or it could stall and give us more precipitation. Uh, right now, as you know, outside it is all rain. Uh, there really isn't any snow, even when you look at the grass, it's pretty clean. Uh, but the heavy snow is supposed to come in later on. And the National Weather Service uh, says that this morning the snow started, uh, it started to snow, turned to rain, back to snow this afternoon, uh, likely to fall in a fast and heavy rate, their words, during much of the evening and overnight period, with the heaviest snow expected to begin between 3 and 7 p.m. tonight. And by the time the storm passes early Saturday afternoon, we're expecting to have accumulations of 10 to 14 inches across the five boroughs based on the latest National Weather Service. And higher local accommodations are possible. Now, all of that could change. The storm could move much further east faster, and we could have an awful lot less snow, which would be uh, great. Uh, but we've got to prepare for uh, the worst case. And uh, this is what the weather, uh, National Weather Service says is the worst case. Uh, as widely reported, the storm is resulting from the merging of two low-pressure systems, one approaching from the west, uh, the Chicago area, and one coming up the Atlantic coast from the North Carolina area. And largely because of the coastal northeaster, we'll see sustained winds of 10 to 30 miles an hour, gusts up to 40 or 50 miles an hour. And this combination of snow and high winds and the reduced visibility uh, are hazards for travel, and it's why we, may, we remain under a blizzard warning through 1 p.m. on Saturday. As New Yorkers know all too well, high winds can also disrupt electrical service in neighborhoods with overhead lines as trees topple down uh, or branches shear off trees and do serious damage. Uh, let me just remind you, if you have a tree come down and there's a power line down, don't go near it. Don't touch it. Pick up the phone, call 311, and they'll tell you what to do, and we'll get a professional crew there to remove it. The, the power lines are dangerous, and every time we have a storm like this, or many times we do have tragedies occur. A final uh, potentially hazardous element, uh, element of this storm is some coastal flooding. flooding. It is likely to happen during high tide, which will wash up at the Bowery shortly after 7 p.m. and along the Long Island Sound shores of northern Queens and the Bronx several hours later. The reason it's much later there is that the water has to go around Montauk and come all the way down Long Island Sound before it hits northern Queens and the Bronx, whereas the water uh, from the battery comes straight in from the ocean. Many of the same communities that were inundated by Hurricane Sandy's tidal surge just about 100 days ago are likely to see some moderate coastal flooding this evening. It's likely to reduce the kind of coastal flooding that can be expected in these areas during such storms and, um, and people uh, know how to deal with it. If you are, uh, if your house has been damaged by Sandy and still without heat, uh, call 311 and we'll be sure to find you shelter. And certainly if you are someone uh, you see has symptoms like uncontrolled shivering or disorientation, that may very well be hypothermia, and hypothermia can be deadly. So anyone with these symptoms should get uh, someplace warm immediately. Also, please do not use uh, gas ovens or ranges to heat your homes. That can lead to carbon monoxide poisoning, which can be fatal. Uh, let me walk through what city agencies are doing in response to the storm, starting with preparing to clear streets and highways of snow. City sanitation workers are on a full mobilization and have been since Thursday night. 
They're on 12-hour shifts. The sanitation department will deploy something like 1,700 snow plows and 65 front end loaders. It also has 450 salt spreaders already deployed. And the department has made arrangements with private sector contractors to pull in more than 100 pieces of additional heavy equipment for cleaning residential streets. The sanitation department plows, as you know, are now GPS equipped. And New Yorkers can track the progress of snow removal in their neighborhood online at nyc.gov using the Plow NYC feature. Uh, I have used it myself. The way it basically works is you put in your address, and it's updated only once every half an hour, but we color code the streets when the plow goes down. Uh, it stays one color for the first hour, then it switches to another color, then to another color. Uh, and it really gives you what you need to know whether or not uh, you've been plowed. Uh, at the sanitation garages, they have a much more sophisticated and hard-to-use version of that where they can actually talk to and know where every single plow is, knowing the number of the plow, and you can look up the name of the driver and uh, know what, how fast they're going and all that kind of information that's useful for managing the plowing and sanding fleet. But in terms of the public, and we want something that's as simple and it does work. Uh, plug in your number, be in your address, be careful to do it accurately, and you will find out uh, when the last time a plow went down your street. The Department of Parks, Environmental Protection, uh, and Transportation, those three departments are supplementing, you should know, the snow re removal effort with their own equipment. The Transportation Department also has 17 anti-icing vehicles working on the roadways on the East River bridges. And in addition, the NYPD has a fleet of 95 tow trucks on the streets and prepared to remove stalled vehicles. Uh, with additional tow trucks being deployed by the Departments of Transportation and Parks. And we have also 31 private tow trucks included in this force. So we've got a whole s a system of pulling together all the resources, all the tow trucks, and we certainly think we have enough. And finally, to assist with snow removal, street cleaning, and parking meter regulations will be suspended citywide today and tomorrow. Tonight, the fire department will have 100 additional ambulances on the streets. They'll have snow chains on their tires and snow removal equipment and other special equipment on board. And because snow conditions can make fighting fires even more difficult, the, NYP, the FDNY has added an additional firefighter to each of their engine units, starting with tonight's tour of duty. Uh, because of the likelihood of moderate coastal flooding, the FDNY also has prepositioned a number of its waterborne rescue units in the city's low lying coastal areas. And the NYPD has emergency service units in those areas as well, and they'll be beefing up police patrols in those neighborhoods. The police department will also be putting additional highway patrol units on duty to help stranded motorists.